I'm Chase, and I'm going to do another instructional video on how to make business cards in Pages. And and right now, I'm in the Pages template view. How you get to that is by going to File, then, wait, go under File, then New, and I'm going to go under Stationery to find the business cards, and right here is the Modern Business Cards, the template I'm going to choose. Like I guess, and this is the template, and I'm going to design a modern business card with my logo. It's gonna be pretty simple: logo, name, title, and contact information. So, delete the existing icon logo that was there. I drag in my own logo. Now, mine's very high res. So I gotta resize it a lot, but yours may not be. I don't know. This looks like I think maybe too large still. Yeah, try to make it so it just kind of fits in right there. And the logo is just to make your cards pretty unique. Yeah, you want it at the top of the text box, so you want it all lined like this. I mean, it doesn't matter exactly how it's aligned, as long as it's just all aligned. So you can just remember that whenever you place more of the logos, just remember how to line them all. So let's see. Oops. Delete this other one. So drag in the logo again. I'm going to copy, paste this logo over here. As I said, I'm going to align it to the edge of the other logos. And I'm not going to do all of them right now, but eventually you would have to do them over and over again. Sadly, I couldn't find an easier way to do it. You just kind of have to just put the logo in at one after another after another. And a little pro tip, if you want your logo to look, your image to look a little bit different, your logo, like if you want it to kind of like be windowed like that or make it look like, you know, like it's a piece of paper... And there's a lot of other styles. You can play with different borders and stuff like that. But I'm just going to keep it clean right now. Because I, I just like that style. Depends on what your business is, your personal preference, and what you just think looks appealing. Right now I'm going to start filling in the contact information. And I'm going to put in my name. And then my job title. And then however you want to put, you can also put in your business name once you put your position. And then, and now for the contact information. You can either open your contacts, copy paste from there. I have it already set aside for the ease of the video in my in a text edit over here on my other screen, which you cannot. I don't think you can see it. And uh, yeah, let's see. So first, I'm gonna do my email. I'm not actually going to do the. Um, Sorry, um, but basically, I'm not gonna do my um, phone number because I just my business just not have a phone number right now, so I'm just gonna stick to just doing the email. So I'll copy that in from over there. Just delete the phone number. Then, and as for address, and my company's internet based. I'm just gonna put my city that I'm in because I just like to rep my city. So, put in Cleveland, comma, Ohio. And something that this template lacks doesn't give you a place for Twitter information and all that. And for that, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put an at. So, hopefully people will realize that I mean both my Instagram and my Twitter because it's the same thing. Then also I'm going to bring my website 
and then take care of this. And my website's there. Truthfully, I think this the website's a little underemphasized, so I'm gonna make it something other than gray. No, a little too much emphasis. Underline maybe? What do you guys think? Well Uh Yeah. Now I'm gonna take up the point just a wait, no. It's the wrong one. Just gonna take up the point here just a little bit. It's a little bit small. Oops. And back to where I started. Let's see if I can just make it no. Just a little bit larger. Yeah, that should do it. So now I can just make it a little bit a little bit large, but it's a little bit too large. So yeah, just mess with it when it comes to your text stylings. That's just my choice at the moment. And oh wow, I guess Pages also has an um, way to go right into that link if you're unsure if it's the right link. And now, for the second one, just copy full contents. Just copy and paste and do it for all of them, do it for all levels. And eventually you'll have your um, business card. And the nice thing about these different business cards is um, is that now you can send this to a regional printer, someone to print them, try printing them yourself if you have like a, a paper cutter and just cut them out. As a card stock, I advise sending it to maybe someone who can print it for you professionally. But now you've got a basic template so I can take your idea to the next level and and now you can start handing out your business cards. So good luck with getting known in the business space or just marketing your personal brand. I'm Chase, signing off.